dear students in this lecture i am going to teach the second assignment of concrete technology so the first question is capillary porosity for opc ordinary portland cement paste with water cement ratio 0.36 at infinite age in years is you need to remember this is capillary porosity when water cement ratio is equal to 0.36 is 0.25 so answer b for question number 1 and coming to second question which of the following pairs is not matched correctly so strength toughness hardness specific gravity so specific gravity is measured with pycnometer so it is matched correctly and toughness is measured with impact test so it is matched correctly and hardness is measured with crushing test on the aggregates it is not measured with abrasion test so this is wrong and strength will be measured with 10% fines so when 10% fines are more strength is more it is also matched correctly answer c for question number 2 coming to question number 3 slump loss occurs when free water from concrete mixture is removed so slump loss due to free water removal so free water will be removed by hydration reaction and adsorption on the surface of hydration products and by evaporation by temperature so when temperature is more evaporation is more so because of all these reasons free water will be removed whenever the free water will be removed from the concrete slump loss will occur okay so d for question number 3 coming to question number 4 which of the following is not a characteristics of rhpc rapid hardening portland cement rapid hardening portland cement compared to ordinary portland cement that is rapid hardening portland cement percentage fines are more compared to ordinary portland cement when percentage fineness or fineness percentage fineness is more it will be develop early strength whenever the strength attained by the concrete is too early we can remove form work remove form work early enable early removal of form work and finally both rhpc and opc will be having same final strength rhpc is not having more than opc okay it will not having less than opc both final strength long term strength will be both same for both so this is wrong these are correct okay so it is not a characteristics of rhpc so answer b for question number 4 coming to question number 5 expansive cement is used in grouting works and it is having high alumina content expansive cement used for grouting because high alumina content so this is statement 1 is correct and coming to statement 2 low heat cement are preferable for construction of dams low heat cement 
low head cement having high C2S, low C3S. So whenever C2S is more and C3S is less, the development of heat is low in the starting stages and C2S will contribute, contribute lateral strength, strength. So this is also statement 2 is also correct and long third statement long term strength of low heat cement is lower compared to ordinary Portland cement. Low heat cement OPC final strength is same. This is wrong. Sulphate resisting cement has high alumina content. No, sulphate resisting cement alumina content is limited. Okay, so this is wrong statement. So statement 1 and 2 are correct. So answer C for question number 5. Coming to question number 6. OPC has high amount of calcium oxide and low amount of silica. OPC calcium oxide low silica. This is a correct statement. And Pujalona having high amount of calcium oxide, low amount of, this is a wrong statement. Pujalona is not having high amount of calcium oxide. Okay. So, only statement 1 is correct. Answer A for question number 6. What is the angularity number of most rounded aggregates? Generally, angularity number varies from 0 to 11. So, that is 0 for most rounded aggregates. And 11 for most angular aggregates. And in between 0 to 11, the shape of the aggregates will be changing from rounded to angular in shape. Okay. So, for complete rounded aggregates, answer D for Angularity number is 0. D for 7. Question number 7. Coming to question number 8. What is the specific surface diameter of given aggregate particle having cubical shape of side? So, that is it is a given aggregate particle. So, what is the specific surface diameter for this cubical shape? Specific surface diameter is ratio of dia of sphere of same surface area sphere of same surface area to unit volume of irregular particle So, that is D naught SP, that is specific surface diameter is equal to 6 VP divided by AP. So, that is 6, volume of the particle is A cube and A surface area is 6 A square. So, it will be A. So, answer C for question number 8. Coming to question number 9, the void content of aggregate is dash related to the angularity factor. Void content of aggregate is linearly related to the angularity factor. So, answer A for question number 9. Coming to last question of the assignment, void content in aggregates depends on the following characteristics. Obviously, void content is depends on shape of aggregates and size distribution of particles and packing characteristics. So, A, B, C, both all are the correct. Answer D for question number 10. Thank you.